Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates on the menu today. We are going to make cheesy sloppy joe and pasta casserole. It's going to happen all in one skillet. I have one pound of ground beef that I'm chopping up right here and I'm going to brown it up until it is no longer pink. And then I'm going to take this onion and bell pepper, chop these up, and then I'm going to add it to the ground beef. I have a really good recipe that I use all the time for sloppy joes. So you can either make your own homemade sloppy joe recipe or you can use the can of manwich that you can pull out of your pantry. You won't find it in my pantry. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead now and chop up some onions. Now the sloppy joe recipe is called my mama's sloppy joe recipe because that is my mom's recipe. And Luckily enough, she has given me that recipe. She made it all the time when I was young. She made a big batch of it. All right, as I'm chopping up my onions and peppers, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the ground beef, and then I'm gonna cook them down until they're nice and soft. Now, the beef was very lean, so I'm gonna go ahead and add about one tablespoon of cooking oil, or you can add some butter to it. That'll help soften down the onions, not dry them out. All right, I'm adding in my bell pepper. I'm just dicing it. All right, my ground beef is all nice and browned up. So now what we're doing is just looking to soften down those peppers and onions. I wanna go ahead and start seasoning with some salt and pepper. About an eighth of a teaspoon right now. We're gonna season later. All right, as soon as the peppers and onions have sweated down and they're nice and soft and translucent, I'm going to bring it back because we want to make that delicious sauce that makes the sloppy dough. Our onions and peppers are nice and softened down. What I'm going to do is add in one teaspoon of some minced garlic. Mm, doesn't that make every dish taste good? I'm going to stir this around for 30 seconds to release the flavors of the garlic all into the meat and the peppers and the onions. Now the recipe that I'm using for the sloppy joe portion of this recipe can be found on my blog, katherinesplates.com. So what I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of water, half a cup of ketchup, you can easily make sloppy joes from anything in your pantry. One tablespoon of brown sugar and about a half a teaspoon of some mustard. I'm using some Dijon mustard. Just add some additional flavor. There we go. I'm going to add some pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon and about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to stir this all up. Now that's worthy of Sloppy Joe's here. All right, now we need to make this flavor very deep. So I'm going to be adding one can of diced tomatoes. It's 14.5 ounces, juice and all. And then we're going to add in three cups of chicken broth. Okay, you guys always ask me why I put chicken broth into a beef dish. You know, it's a very light, subtle flavor for the chicken and it kind of lets you pick up the other flavors. If you add beef broth, which is totally fine, it just adds a beefier flavor to it. But I feel like it kind of covers up some of the flavors. It's too beefy. So the chicken just kind of brings everything out. So. It's whatever you have in your pantry. You can even put vegetable if you want in here, a vegetable broth. All right, I'm gonna put this heat onto a high. Let's see. We're gonna bring this to a boil. 
I'm going to taste this, see if we need to adjust any flavors. That tastes good. I can definitely taste the flavors of a sloppy joe in there. Mm. All right. It's coming to a boil. What we're going to do, get the spoon out of the way. We're going to put in some pasta. Now, I'm using mini farfalla pasta. It looks like bow ties. I'm going to put in just a little less, maybe about 12 ounces into the sloppy joe mixture. All right, that's what they look like. Little bow ties. They come in regular size also. These are just the mini. I'll say about 12 ounces. We're gonna stir this up. I'm gonna turn this down to about a medium high. We don't want this boiling, boiling, and we don't want this too low to where it takes too long to cook. About a medium high will do, and what we're gonna do, make sure all your pasta's in the liquid. Place the lid on. Now, we're gonna cook this until it gets to a little less than al dente because it's still gonna do a finished cooking once we put the rest of the stuff in. So keep that in mind. For this, it says about seven minutes till al dente. We're gonna cook this about eight to nine minutes because it's simmering in a thicker broth and so it'll take a little bit longer to cook than what it states on the package when you use regular boiling water. So just keep an eye on it. And what I'm gonna do is just take the lid off every so often, take my spoon, give it a stir, make sure the pasta isn't sticking to the bottom of it. Check your liquid level. If you feel like you need to add more liquid, you have some extra broth, you can go ahead and add that or you can add some water. I'll be back. While the sloppy joes and pasta is cooking, I am just slicing up some Velveeta cheese. I've got an eight ounce size block and I'm just slicing it kind of thin so we can melt easier when we add it to the sloppy joes. And then I'm just gonna cut that in half. Well, you know what happens when pieces don't want to stick. You just have that and enjoy it as a snack. We're going to add one cup of, now I've got frozen corn here. You can use canned corn, make sure it's drained. We're going to add that in. Stir this up. Because we still need the burner on to help melt the cheese. And that's why you wanted to cook your pasta to al dente because it's still going to cook. You don't want it too mushy. So we're going to take our Velveeta cheese and I'm just going to lay it across the pasta here. Allow it to melt. We're going to kind of stir this in. We want that cheese to be nice and melted in there. All right, that looks really good. Once that cheese is nice and melted, go ahead and turn off your burner. Make sure you check your pasta one last time. Give it a taste, make sure it's nice and tender because the heat is going off. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you have. We're gonna sprinkle it on top. We're gonna put a lid on it and then it's done once that cheese is nice and melted on top. Okay, our cheese is nice and melted on top. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm gonna sprinkle some fresh parsley on top. Make it pretty. Voila, dinner is served. Cheesy sloppy joe pasta casserole. What do you think? All right, you know I'm going to bowl this up and give it a try for you. Oh. 
Oh, you guys, I'm fixing to send my family out on some errands. Maybe that way I can have all of this to myself. <laughs> Think that'll work? I don't know. They smell it already. They're ready and lined up. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It is very creamy. Got those flavors of sloppy joes in there. The pasta, the corn. That's a full meal right there, you guys. One pot meal. There you go. You challenge me every day to bring you these. Who's going to make this one? Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on my next episode.